Hey guys, it's Vicky. Oh my gosh, I look like an egg. I do have hair. Um, so this video is going to be all about my transition day at my new school. Um, I'm just leaving my placement school um, and tonight I will be packing a bag and heading down to where my new school is next year. It's about a three hour drive so I'm going down tonight, staying with a friend who lives there and then um, going to school in the morning for a full day. So I thought I'd take you along with me and um, I'm really nervous but really excited but uh, I'll talk to you a bit more when I get home about it. Just got home. Um, it takes me about an hour, so it's like just gone five, I think. I'm going to have a shower, wash my hair because um, I don't want to have to do that in the morning. So I'm going to do that now before I leave and then chuck some stuff in a case, eat some dinner, and get on the road. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. Hi, all. So I just had a really quick shower, hair wash straight in my hair, throw some stuff in a bag. Um, my dad's going to call me any minute dinner being ready um because we're eating very early so i can get on the road um but i thought i'd just have a minute and chat with you um i've already had a phone call with my like year four team that i'm taking over from obviously because they're going into year five about my class so i have a bit of information about them all and that's really helpful in setting me up um but i don't really have a lot to do for transition tomorrow um my school have planned activities for us all and um i can like do as many or as little of them as i want but being a new teacher i think i've i've decided that for the, the most part i'm going to do what they've given me because chances are that their transition activities will work and um i don't want to add any extra pressure um with um trialing anything that might not work right now so i'm just going to do what they've given me i think apart from one thing um and that is this little box so this is actually a little clear glass box that says things i wish my teacher knew on it and it will be in my classroom um 100 percent of the time 100 percent of the year and i'm glad i can introduce it to my class tomorrow um and it's something that the students can add to at any point they can just write something on a piece of paper and put it in there and i can check it um so they can tell me anything without actually telling me but for tomorrow i'm going to be using it as a get to know me box um and it's got lots of little things in there like my swimming hat um and um a little turtle from when i went traveling and lots of little bits that will just help me to introduce myself to the class um and then they are going to have printouts of the letter that represents my class next year and they can decorate them with things that would be in their box um and they can draw i don't know about maybe they have a dog or maybe they have some siblings or maybe they like gymnastics or things that represent them and that will help me to get to know them so that's something i would definitely be doing tomorrow um i'm not really sure about the rest of the day there's a get to know me bingo um which i'm quite excited about to be honest i'm excited about the whole thing um it seems like the school's quite prepared and they know what they're doing so um in the morning i'm just going to be shadowing my head of year next year so the, the head of year five um and um It'll be good to get to know her a bit better and um, understand like the routine of the school before I actually meet the students that are in my class. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna go and eat something now and then um, get on the road and I'll see you probably when I'm there. Hey, so I have just got to my pal's house. Um, literally just pulled up. I'm going to go in and unpack all my stuff. Um, I'll probably spend this evening going over the notes that I have on all of my class from the transition meeting I had the other week. Um, try and remember all their names so that tomorrow I'll just be putting faces to the names. Um, yeah, and try and get an early night because I'm tired already just from driving and school today. Um, yeah, I'll try and keep you updated tomorrow as the day goes on. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to show you and what I'm not, but um, we'll see how it goes. Morning all. Um, I am tired and I haven't left myself a great deal of time to get ready because um, I like sleep. So I'm going to do that now, put a bit of makeup on, get dressed. Um, my friend's
Ben's house is like a 20-ish minute drive away and I have to be there at 8 um, so I'm going to try and get there for like quarter to 8 because it's always better to be early um, and leave myself like 25 minutes to get there so then I've got like a decent amount of leeway to make sure I'm there on time um, so I'm going to put some makeup on get dressed and go um, I haven't even woken up yet so I can't tell you how I'm feeling um, but I am excited to meet my class but I have a meeting first with the deputy head just about like health and safety and safeguarding and stuff so I need to get that done um, and I don't really know what the day is going to involve so yeah I'll find out and uh, let you know Let's get going. All in the car and only running three minutes late. We love that. I'm going to get there on time. Love that sunlight ruining my video. Um, I'm going to get on the road. See you there. Hi, so I've just parked at the building where my classroom is um, and I'm going to walk over to the actual school and sign in and then meet the deputy head. Um, really nervous to be honest, I wasn't that nervous until I got here but yeah, I'm scared but it'll be fine right? And I've got quite a chilled morning until I meet my classroom in the afternoon so I'm sure it'll be okay. Hello, really quick update in case someone walks in, I'm in the staff room. I've had two tours of the school, one really quick one by like the deputy head and then one by my year group leader, year five lead. Met loads of people, I haven't met my class yet but I just have an idea now of the building, um, year five and year six of this school are in a separate building so I have a really good idea of where everything is and everyone that I've met seems really lovely, um, be given all my resources for this afternoon so I can kind of have a look at what I want to do, pick and choose with my class when I meet them and now I'm going to go and shadow um a class for um a philosophy and then an english lesson before i go for lunch and then i'll meet my class so yeah i'm just gonna um go back up and shadow someone and uh i'm still pretty nervous but everyone's lovely so i'm sure it will be good uh i'll see you later are you ready to see my new classroom for next year um first let's just say lunch was amazing i didn't get to film anything and then straight away picked on my new class um, and walked them over to this building, um, which is exciting for them, right? They're in a whole new building. Um, and I was shown my new classroom, which I'm standing in right now. Um, are you ready to have a bit of a tour? Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick zoom round of my classroom um, because I don't have much time, but there are seven boards in here, seven display boards to do, my desk, um, and that's basically all of it. Um, I'll do a proper video on it when I come during um, like my intro days before I start and I like do the display boards and sort it all out. So yeah. So I had a really lovely afternoon with my class which consisted of um, a few activities. One was um, get to know me bingo. Um, so they basically end up writing down a list, not a list, but filling out boxes of all their favorite things like their favorite food, um, favorite sport and all different things so like I just got to know them and they got to know me I also used my little box of things um to talk about myself a bit which was really helpful just have some prompts there um we also colored in lots of g's because the name of my class changed since I got here but it's now class g 5g so um colored in lots of g's lots of different colors I know all that noise is um, but anyway, and um, I will cut them all out and laminate them ready to go in our classroom so they'll feel like it's a bit more of their room by the time they start in September. Um, I'm about to head home now. Um, I think I'd like to catch up with the head of year five and talk to her a bit. I've got some questions, but we'll see if I can do that before I get on the road. So I've just come out to my car. Um, I was in the staff room for like over an hour chatting with just some teachers, which was really lovely just to... I know you just feel like you get to know them a bit more when you just sit and chat in the staff room so that was really nice um head of year five was like you did really well today like you're doing okay it's good um so that was nice 
Um, I've just actually got into my car and realised how badly I parked this morning and it's really wonky in the parking space, so that's embarrassing. Hopefully no one knew it was my car. Um, yeah, so I can't get my map to load either to take me home, but I'm going to try and do that and then actually drive home because I have a placement tomorrow. So yeah, um, I'll see you when I get back. I've just got home. Um, that was a long drive and it's only eight o'clock, but I am shattered. Like I'm so tired doing, I guess driving there yesterday and then I didn't sleep great last night just because I just was in a different bed. You know, when you don't sleep great because you're not in your own bed. Um, then like I had so much adrenaline today, I think. Um, I'm just tired now, but I'm going to go in and eat some dinner and then I will talk you through some transition day ideas and what I did today in a bit more detail. Side note, you might notice that like my smile has been really weird in this video and it's because I have a really bad ulcer and when I smile it really hurts. Um, so I just thought I'd drop that in here. I'm not weird. Well, I am weird, but that's why my smile looks weird right now. Hi all, um, I'm currently in my um, placement school staff room on PPA and I've just realised that I never spoke to you about my transition day ideas. So I thought I'd go through them right now um, because when I finish at the end of the day today, I'm heading back to my ECT school for another um, day there, an induction day this time with other members of staff. So I'm really looking forward to that, but I'll talk you through what I did on transition day um, just before I take you along on that day with me too. So um, I was really lucky in that my ECT school sorted out a lot of transition day activities for me. And I actually only had the afternoon with them rather than a full day as originally planned. Um, because of COVID, they weren't having external students in, so they just decided to do the afternoon. So, the first thing that we did was get to know me bingo, um, and they had a little sheet and it just had in it um, different options like your favourite season, your favourite chocolate, your favourite food, your favourite vegetable, your favourite film, your favourite book, all things like that. Um, and you could have made it into like a bingo where you like picked different things out, um, but instead I just spoke through my favourite of each thing, and then I said to the students if you have a favourite but I mentioned them write it down. And if they didn't, then I'd like continue to guess until I chose it. Um, and I really like that idea because at the end of the day, I could take their sheets um, and I've kept them. So now I have an idea of what some of their favourite things are. Um, and I can try and work maybe some of them into lessons or something like that. Um, and it just meant I got to know them a bit better. So I really enjoyed that. Um, another activity that we did was um, the shoebox activity, um, which I think I mentioned earlier in this video where I took along a little pot um, full of things that were to do with me. So I had a swimming hat in there because I used to swim competitively, I'm a swimming teacher. Um, I had a clothes label because I love shopping. I had all these different small things um, that described me. And then I asked the students some of the things that would be in their box and we spoke about those. And then finally we coloured in our class letter. So our class has a letter after it and that's the class that will be for the entire year. Um, and I wanted them to, I like blew some of them up a bit and I wanted them to colour them in so that I could cut them out and laminate them and put them up in our classroom for when they start in September. So just that it feels a bit like theirs, um, so there's something from them in there. Um, so they could either draw things on there that would be in their shoebox, if that's what they wanted to do, or they could just colour it in a nice pattern or whatever they wanted. Um, and that was a really nice chance to just like chat informally with them all as well and get to know them a bit better. Um, that's actually what we did at the end of the day. Before that, we did some one minute challenges, um, which they really enjoyed. And it was really interesting to see them working together as a team and who got on and well, even just to see who sat next to each other was really interesting to be honest. Um, but the one minute challenges were either like physical, so like who can stand on their leg for the longest or um, mental, like they had to turn around and then list the hair color of everyone's in their class without looking or spell everyone's name backwards or something like that um, and they really enjoyed all of those activities and it was yeah it was really nice it was a lovely afternoon to get to know them all and I feel like I do know them a bit better because of it so that was really good um yeah so when I finish here I'm actually off to I'm gonna go home and get ready and then I'm gonna drive down to where my school is again um and I'll um I'll talk to you a bit tomorrow when I get there so yeah Hey guys, I've just got to my pal's house um, down where my ECT school is. I just said the name again, I had to refilm this clip. I'm so bad at this. Um, anyway, we're about to go out for dinner um, with another one of our pals from uni, so I'm really excited. Um, and then 
um love island starts tonight and i'm not sorry to say that i love that so i will be watching it i know it's trash i know it's trash but i still love it so we will be watching the first episode of that and then i'll get an early -ish night ready for school tomorrow um i just got my itinerary through and um there seems to be a lot of like coffee breaks and chatting which is ideal also going through like the academic load for next year the co-curriculars for next year and um just lots of bits like that meeting the head meeting the head of the secondary school just a lot of meetings and chatting so um i look forward to it but yeah we're gonna go out for dinner and um have a chill night so i will probably see you in the morning good morning all um i don't actually feel that tired which is shocking because i went to bed quite late for me but um yeah the weather doesn't look too nice so i'm glad i bought a blazer <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna get changed and ready for the day so see you in a minute okay i am all ready to go um just need to pack everything up and uh i'll get on the road should be there about i'm actually going in early today because um oh wrong button because i want to make sure that um i get parking space and i have some work to do anyway so um i'm gonna go in as early as i can and uh get that done why was that such a struggle to do my blazer up can you tell this is new this is actually a new blazer um i got it from zara the other day in the sale and it was 40 pounds instead of 80. we love that i'll actually do a little haul with some other things i got in the sale over on my instagram so follow me over there if you want to see that see you in a bit <laughs> Hi guys, um, this is definitely not the best place to be filming because I'm in the school car park and if anyone drives in they'll be able to see me so if I cut off that's what's happening. But um, this morning I have, I just looked at my itinerary, lots of coffee breaks which we love, um, a meeting with the head of the senior school, I haven't actually met her yet apart from my interview so that'll be nice, um, a, a C and A, I'm not sure what that is but it's like 40 minutes um someone's just arrived okay we're good um yeah i don't know what cna is um a year five house meeting no a year five meeting and then an academic meeting um so i'm hoping i'm going to find out a bit more about what i'm teaching next year in that um and then i have lunch so i'll go and do my morning and then uh see if i can catch up with you around lunchtime um the last half of lunch i'm actually going to be in the playground meeting my class again so that should be nice See you later. Hello everyone. Um, I really sucked at vlogging today and I'm sorry, but it was just a really busy day. I made like 30 pages of notes um, and it was just so much information. It was just back to back meetings all day apart from lunch. And then even quickly after lunch, um, we had to go on like, well, we went on like kind of like break duty, but just with our class um to like spend some time with them again which was really nice actually probably like the highlight of my day but my brain is actually going to explode there's just so much information um that they've thrown at us and it was a lot however i did get my contract today so i can actually sign that send that back which will be um well it's just good isn't it because i actually do have a job um so yeah uh it was a lot today um i'm sorry i didn't film a lot but um, I just learned about the the way that the school works academically, the co-curriculars, um, the pastoral side of the school, and then how they're going to support me as an ECT. So yeah, just a lot of information. Um, I'm going to leave this video here. I'm sorry I didn't get too much done today. But um, if you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned or anything teacher training or PGCE related, then you can find me over at Miss Green Teach on instagram and twitter um probably best to message me on instagram to be honest and um i am more than happy to help um yeah hope this has been helpful and i'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>